Hey, the word of the day is respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. It's a real simple concept. If you don't have respect, you don't give respect, you don't get respect. That's yeah, pretty simple. Every person can relate to that. Everybody wants to be respected. And when people are not respected, uh, then they get either butthurt or angry or whatever. Uh, respect. If you don't have it, you won't get it. Now let's talk about what's happening in the world with what I just said in mind. A man, despite your personal information resources, whatever they may be, has more information than God. This person, President Trump, is the number one informed person in our entire nation. So if you feel that your information supersedes his information then you may have a problem a man kills babies with sarin gas a red line was already drawn in the sand by Barack Obama back in uh, 2016, 2015, something like that, 2013, and that's when what's-his-name did it again, uh, did, used it on his people then, and Obama did nothing, but that red line never went anywhere, people. I understand people say, well, by the Constitution, yada, 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 yada. Well, you nimble-minded individuals are forgetting all the stuff that has happened prior to this event. Making it not only legal, but to be honest with you, not even reportable to anybody. Because it was a military action in a military uh, war zone as defined by Barack Obama. So I don't, I don't get where you guys are coming from with the, well, what he's doing is illegal. Okay, well, whatever. Isn't it a wonderful thing that you're not running the country? Because if you were, we would all feel like you. Oh, no, we would all hate you. I don't know, never mind. Uh, let's see, what happened today? Just a few hours ago. Let's see. Yeah, about 10 hours ago, we bombed uh, ISIS with a Moab. And here again, these libtards are saying, on my Facebook blows up with, Oh my God, now he's blowing up this country. He's, he's gone crazy. Well, you see, when he ran for president, what did he say? He was going to blow the shit out of ISIS. Blow the shit out of them. A Moab is the biggest weapon we have that is non-nuclear and it does a lot of damage. It penetrates into the ground so all the caves and other hidey holes and shit that they were in and transporting whatever to and from and moving personnel to and from to assault either US uh, interests or the US personnel themselves okay so here again this is more information that comes from the Obama administration but Obama chose to do nothing about it because he wanted to keep his record uh, uh, without a scandal which that motherfucker is the most scandalous president that we have next to Nixon in my knowledge and history And people may disagree with that, and that's okay. But understand, I'm not disagreeing. I did not say what I said because the man's skin color. 
I did not say what I said because of uh, whatever else that you can corrupt racist or sexist or whatever words of the month are for you. I said that because he lied repeatedly to the American people. I heard it with my own ears. I saw it with my own eyes. And so did you. And you can pretend that he didn't and that's okay. But you know he did. And he's getting caught up in all the more lies now, all the shit that he did in office before he left. See, going back to the respect thing, Obama had no respect. He did not respect the American people. If he did, he would have told them the truth. He did not respect the American uh, uh, place in the world because he went on an apology tour to everybody. He did not represent the United States as this world superpower because he would not do anything. A line in the red sand, nothing happens. Whereas, uh, so he had no respect. And therefore, I will not give him respect. Now, enter Trump. This is a man of integrity. Of respect I am still trying to read his book uh, that I got last summer the art of the deal and I can tell you from what I've read so far everything that he says in the book that was written many years ago was said during his um, uh, primary whatever to get the nomination and then said up until the uh, election and everything that he did and said basically and, and the way he portrays his character in inter interacting with people in that book is exactly the way he's doing it on the world stage which is exactly what we needed as a country to make us great again we can't be great if we're the only ones that think we're great we can only be great if everybody else thinks we're great I know that's a little bit more basic than most of you were ready to understand, but try, for God's sake, to get your mind out of your emotional collective asses and understand that this is not, the world, the world stage is not the stage of your life, okay, and your opinions don't mean fuck. And it would probably be best if you just kept them to yourself if you don't have anything good to say. My mother taught me that. And now I'm teaching you that. So. Trump comes. And he comes into a world that does not respect the United States. Has no respect for us. If they did then Russia would have done what they said they were going to do and secure and dispose of all chemical weapons in Syria. The fact that it works at chemical weapons in Syria is obvious that Russia did not respect us enough to do what they said they were going to do. Okay. What is his name? The Syrian leader, right? He has no respect for America. He's killing his people again. He was doing it before. Now, whatever your understanding of his situation may be, right, wrong, or indifferent, is your understanding. And has nothing to do with the understanding on the world stage. So keep that in mind before y'all open your mouth and act stupid. Okay. Korea, North Korea. North Korea doesn't respect us. How many times has your news agency reported that North Korea has threatened the United States with a nuclear weapon? How many times? I would venture to say that if your news agency is like the mainstream media, probably very little or none 
But the fact of the matter is, the man has said it. Said it on the global stage. And basically, every week has shot off a ballistic missile one way or the other into the Japan Sea or Peninsula. I'm not sure what it's called. Now, respect was immediately demanded by the, to the Russians from us as we told the Syrian leader you're not going to fuck with us anymore. You're not going to fuck with these children anymore with sarin gas. Period. You want to blow each other up, that's fine. With guns, you want to shoot each other or whatever. Okay. But sarin gas is off the table. Respect. That made everybody stop and say, wait a minute, what? what? Including you liberal asses. Today we bumped, we uh, bombed the shit out of ISIS. Today we bombed the shit out of ISIS. Here again, the man is showing strength on a national, on a global stage. And while all this is happening, we've got the nuclear aircraft uh, carrier Bush and its uh, support fleet going into the Korean Peninsula with Japanese with Japanese uh, fleets as well and this is confusing for a lot of people why this is happening and a lot of people they don't really uh, they don't get all the resources they need to make a full understanding of what's really happening in this situation so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this real simple I'm gonna break this down to you very simple a three-year-old could understand this. Okay, you got your uh, your fort, and the Indians are coming, and your fort is more than just your home. It's all you got, and the Indians are coming, and you want to keep those Indians away from your fort. So you shake a lot of bells, rattle a lot of chains, and make a lot of noise, and make into windows and threats, barking like a dog, if you would, so that the Indians would be afeared or, or back off. All the time in your fort, now when that works, you know, all the time in your fort, you know, you're building something that can wipe out everybody all the Indians with a nuclear weapon. That's Korea, North Korea. Okay, the Indians of course is everybody outside of North Korea. North Korea is a power uh, that is supported by other countries but is unable to stand upon their own because they don't have the desire to interact and, and coexist with other people. Uh, Obviously not America, or he wouldn't have actually stated he was going to shoot us with a nuclear weapon. So, now let's talk about timing. Last week, Syria. This week, ISIS. This weekend. What is this weekend besides tax day, ladies and gentlemen? This weekend is in North Korea, uh, the, the day of sun or the Sunday the founder of North Korea, that's his birthday. And every year, North Korea puts on an aggressive posture and does something inflammatory in some way or other, either uh, launching a satellite uh, into space or, uh, you know, launching a ballistic missile into the sea Or perhaps testing a nuclear weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday, the 15th, North Korea is going to do something. And this is the reason why all this stuff has been gearing up as far as last week, this week, and the 
uh, carrier with Japanese uh, ships also there. Uh, if North Korea even thinks about doing what our people think they're thinking about doing, we're going to stop it. Period. If that includes uh, taking this Kim Jong guy out, I guess that includes that too. Okay. But here again, this is on a this is on a world stage. This is out of my control. This is out of my influence. So I'm not going to get on the internet and start acting like a whiny little bitch and complaining about this, that, and the other when my own life isn't even straight. You know that. When did people become so rigid? They never ever mistake or mistalk or misrepresent or once they say on record this is my mind they are never allowed to vary or change from that because that's the line ladies and gentlemen we are constantly evolving creatures and what I am today I am not tomorrow but more and more the next day and more the next day I'm continually changing you're continually changing we are that way. Furthermore, for you social justice warriors out there thinking that, ah, oh, I would have done this, that, and the other. Well, thank God you're not the leader of the free world. Because little, the leader of the free world has got to set the example for all the bottom feeders to rise to, to make this country great again. Lastly, I want to let you know one latter, latter little thing. Um, North Korea has two satellites in space. They've launched four. Only two of them were successful. And according to intel that our people have, the satellites may contain an EMP device. And these satellites are not geosynchronous, which means they, they move counter to the Earth's turn. They go like this, and they come up the center of America uh, from Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, up that way, uh, twice every 12 hours, I think. Four times, because there's two of them. So every three hours they go over the United States with these satellites. It's not ever been a, a, a public knowledge need to thing need to know thing because y'all idiots can't handle the truth anyway. So then you hear stuff like this and you're really gonna freak out. But going back to the to uh, Saturday, this Saturday, okay, the day of the sun. The founder of North Korea, his birthday is celebrated, and North Korea does something aggressive in posture to bark at the world. And imagine for yourself, imagine for a moment, an EMP goes across the center of the United States this Saturday. Will we recover? Absolutely. Will North Korea recover? No. Think about it and understand your little world is not the straight stage of the, of the world. That's why you're just you and you're not the President of the United States. And give the man a break and give him time to do what we hired him to do. Peace.